economists have been looking at the widening of incomes and of wealth between Americans for about 25 years. So we've been watching it sort of like a virus, but in the last 10 years, it has really exploded. That the economic growth that we've had for the past 30 years, 99.5% of that economic growth has gone to the top 10% of Americans. And that's never happened before. Most of the explosion in inequality is because the finance industry, the real estate industry, and in some industries that have a monopoly like for-profit health care have gotten most of the gains. Societies with high concentrations of wealth and income at the very top um, are societies where the people at the top spend a lot of time protecting their position through legislation and through lobbying efforts with democratically elected officials. And that effort and their successes usually take away from spending on health care and on education. A well-functioning economy is one where people believe in the rules and think they're fair and abide by them. Every human in your society has a chance to live a normal human lifespan. Everybody in an economy can work and support themselves if they want to, and then most people feel it's their personal responsibility to do that. That's a pretty good sign of an economy. The United States led the world in economic growth, but for the past 20 years, we have led the world in a, in a more ignominious statistic. 22% of our jobs are low-wage jobs. There is a huge movement now to raise the minimum wage. New York City is going to raise the minimum wage. Seattle, up to $15 per hour. San Francisco, they've had a much higher minimum wage than the rest of the nation, and they have tremendous growth in their economy. People of faith talk about part of the reason to be connected in a community of faith is that you all believe in the basic dignity of a human being. And so when you hear the, the demands of people who want higher wage, they're practical, but they're also quite human. They're quite uh, emotional and psychological and um, come from an entitlement because they're human. I just painted a grim picture. There's growing in inequality of income, of wealth, of opportunity, and even lifespan. But the hope is that these results have been the creation of arrangements that human beings made, because what persons do can be undone by persons. So we're seeing lots of demand from local organizations um, to change the rules. Invariably, they are representatives from many faith communities, mostly Christian and Jewish, but some, some communities are bringing in their, their Muslim and Islamic faith leaders into these coalitions with community activists and labor activists. So the economy seemed to be really well understood and mostly felt um, by people who are changing the rules. So that's, that's, it's very hopeful, actually. I haven't been this hopeful in, in decades.